see the exchange between Will Smith and Chris Rock uh, at last Sunday's Oscars. The one good thing to come out of it is the awareness of alopecia, better known as hair loss. Well, someone who knows all about this condition is a lady called Lucinda Ellery, who joins us now in the studio. So, Lucinda Ellery, we saw the, the fracas, uh, the upset at the Oscars, and now we've learnt a little bit more, maybe, about alopecia. But what I want to understand from you as a leading specialist in this area is probably the emotion attached to hair loss and alopecia. Well, that was very clearly demonstrated, I think, on the Oscar night, to say the very least. And I obviously think that possibly uh, Jada's reaction was one of raised, I like, oh, God here we go again, sort of thing. And I think Will, who might have been listening to her for years with the emotional stress of a woman losing her hair, I'm not saying it doesn't stress men too, but it does distress men without a shadow of a doubt. But uh, for a woman, it has a, a big, big meaning. And uh, clearly, uh, she he reacted really, really badly to it. But I think there's also a misunderstanding what alopecia means in many ways. It does just mean literally hair loss. And a lot of people do believe that if you've got alopecia, you've got big chunks of hair missing, the lot even, if that's, you know, you can lose the lot and it's all true. But that's alopecia areata. And I think there's a confusion because I've been having a lot of calls on this, as you can imagine. My phone's been hot, like, do you really think Jade has got my hair? And I'm like, no, no, I don't. And people are saying that they uh, didn't see much evidence of that, uh, in a sense that she looks like she could have a whole head of hair, that she could grow and disguise any kind of hair loss. Uh, I don't know what it is. I haven't examined her. I did see a very small picture of a slight, uh, uh, sort of like Alice band in the front of her hair. And uh, I think she rocked that shaved look like fantastically well what comfort i think that takes confidence myself but that's just my own reaction because i did lose chunks of my hair because i was going to talk not about a whole lot. i was going to talk about this because you went on this journey I so see. you have this understanding I do. because you lost your hair yeah. and you recreated as it I is. Hair. It is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. it. And how good it looks and, and how good it looks thank you. Lucinda. <laughs> I have to say it's but, all but what, fake. Was, what what was your journey? Because in losing your hair oh. you learnt about how to recreate her and you do that now for other people and you have centres in Los Angeles, New York and in Great Britain. But what was your journey to understand really uh, what Will Smith's wife's going through? Well to be honest, I look at her with awe because I myself look back on my uh, constant thinking about it first thing when I wake up, last thing when I go to sleep. When I was very young, uh, it really affected my confidence very, very deeply. Uh, it certainly wouldn't have allowed me to stand up for myself in many ways. I found the whole thing, big words would be humiliating, embarrassing, devastating, and I can't even begin to tell you the stories. In fact, uh, um, Abdul and I came from Reading, uh, not from Reading, from Richmond, all the way to the studio. We talked about nothing else but hair loss, his daughter's, Got, he's got daughters and how, you know, and th what he thought about the Will Smith thing. It's really highlighted the word alopecia because it has a devastating effect, particularly, particularly in the female of our species. You know, we, we grow up with granddads who haven't got hair or an uncle or a dad and we can't, and you know, Jason Stratham, I mean, standalone, gorgeous, doesn't need a single hair on his head. But for a woman, it's a very, very different thing. And we've got, we've got, you know, some of the work that you have done, because people will come to you, women, mm -hmm. fundamentally it's women who come to you, whether they've got alopecia, Entirely, I um, whether they've lost their hair through burns or scars, through cancer, and how you transform them mm. from no hair to uh, having hair. And I think we've got some of those sort of transformations that you've done. Uh, so how do you go about that? You developed the scheme. Yes, we, 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 we pioneered the whole, the whole system and we have it um, uh, patented in uh, America as well, where we in, fill in gaps using meshes and hair and hairlines and so forth. We basically took Hollywood technology 
And because we've been doing it for over 40 years, you know, we've built and grown and refined to flawless hair. You know, well, I'm going to tell this story if you don't. I know you watched the film Splash. I did. With Daryl Hannah. <laughs> yeah, with Daryl Hannah. And you thought, my goodness, that hair is amazing. Couldn't Surely it. it can't be real. No. You called up the producers of the Hollywood studio, <laughs> asked what it was, and then you took that technique, yeah. changed it, and have used it for people with, yes. as I said, alopecia yes. or yes. cancer or hair loss. Absolutely. I myself had always dreamed of being a mermaid. I wanted to die a mermaid, <laughs> uh, literally, and I'd always wanted this lovely long hair. So uh, seeing that film with it underwater, this mermaid, I was just completely transfixed. And I spent a lot of money 40 years ago, like 300 quid, which was a fortune, phoning America without realising the time differences in the studios. And you'd hear, oh, we got that woman on from London, England again. And I'd be like, oh. <laughs> and eventually I found out it was all done in this country uh, by pure set of chance, but I don't necessarily believe. But them. you took that Hollywood uh, technique and, and you have used it now it for people it. who have lost a, their hair in this country. But talking yeah. of Hollywood technique, well, yeah, I mean, I just should, should say, Alopecia UK, the charity, is based in my constituency in Shipley, so I, I know how important this issue is.